How to successfully treat lower back pain with limited number of sessions and decisively solve complex clinical cases. My name is Dr. Ross Trucininov. I am founder of Science of Massage Institute located in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this short video, we'll discuss this important subject which touches so many people around us. According to New England Journal of Medicine, 31 million Americans at any given time suffer from lower back pain. It greatly contributes to the pain and suffering as well as for the economic impact on the families and society. At the same time, there is a huge number of options offered to the patients with uh, lower back pain, but we still have such a huge number of patients who are desperately looking for the help. If we look at the treatment options and they are not able to deliver, that means that something important is missing. And this important missing is not in the treatment itself, but in significant degree to make correct clinical decision what actually need to be treated. And that's what is foundation for successful medical uh, treatment of the chronic lower back pain. We can see patients with exactly same clinical symptoms of the pain and suffering, but even by looking at them, you can easily detect or suspect what actually causing pain and dysfunction. Here is two patients you see on your screen. Both of them exhibit so-called compensatory scoliosis or deviation to the side due to the pain as a protective reaction by the brain. But you can see clearly that in one scenario, it's relatively mild tilt to the side, while in another scenario, tilt is significant and more important, patient cannot straighten himself. That means that he has completely different reason for his lower back pain. First patient with a small tilt is actually have spasm in the lumbar erector, while the second patient you see on your screen with severe lateral deviation and it looked like middle portion of the patient body was moved to the side. That is spasm in the quadratus lumborum muscle. So they are located on top of each other, but they are given different clinical picture and they are require separate individual approach to the therapy. If you want to decisively help patients in complex clinical cases, greatly increase your income and partner with local medical communities, please click right now at the link below in description and join us for live medical massage seminars and webinars and we will work together. Thank you and see you in the future. Why it's so different? because quadratus lumborum muscle is our major muscle for the upright position. We cannot walk and be on uh, both feet without support of the KL muscle which connects your chest to your pelvis. So if this muscle gets in spasm, it's not only create lower back pain, it actually creates symptoms of somatic disaster in abdominal cavity, that's 24% of the patient who deliver it in emergency room with 100% clinical picture of the stone passing through the uh, urinary system. In reality, they don't have a stone passing, they have spasm in TL muscle, which create high blood pressure, anxiety, sweating, all the symptoms as a horrible disaster in abdominal cavity, while in reality, it just spasm in the quadratus lumborum. By looking even on the patients, you can easily detect difference. By easily detecting difference, you can even from the visual observation have a general opinion what you need to examine. When you know the cause, you can easily formulate the therapy because treatment for the tension in the lumbar erectors and treatment for the tension in the quadratus lumborum muscle will be significantly different. And if we are not using uh, treatment as a specific target 
an approach that as a general treatment, then we will never able to get to the bottom of the well. What you see here is the example of correct evaluation, which allows therapists to detect the best treatment strategy and then solve clinical case in limited number of sessions with stable clinical results. Let us know how you deal with the chronic lower back pain and write your comments below and we can have productive discussion and exchange important clinical data for the patient benefit. Let's work together to bring your practice to the new level of medical massage application. Thank you for watching and I see you next time in our next video. Thank you. Bye.